Hello, good day. Kathy tells me there are a few people out there who are interested in finding out more about the Alexander Technique. And here at Body Minded, we use the Alexander Technique as the foundation, as the basis for our teaching programs. Programs for improving coordination, dealing with stress, and rehabilitating after injury. I was just talking to our training program people this morning about getting them to give us a one sentence definition of the Alexander Technique and talk a little bit about what it's for. Because of course on one side we really help people who have had long term uh, difficulty of one kind or another, whether it's pain or struggle or injury of some kind. And on the other side we really help people with performance and your definition of what performance is uh, may vary depending on your idea of what it is that you really wish to do well that you wish to do with skill. Though of course we often work with musicians. Uh, we love music and of course you know, musicians often have this need for assistance with being more comfortable and being more effective as musicians, but also improving performance uh, to reach your potential as a, as a musician. But you know, we work with any kind of performance. We work with people who play golf, we work with people who are runners, we work with people who are interested in doing things that they love doing and doing them really well. So Alexander Technique is um, an extraordinary, amazing, in-depth and surprising study. And I say surprising because the thing about Alexander's work is that when you first come across it, it can be hard to describe, it can be hard to explain because the sensory experience of doing this work is like nothing else that you've ever experienced. And certainly when I started many years ago, it was like nothing else I'd ever experienced and I was a professional dancer, I was a professional mover, I've been moving for years before I came across this work. The experience of the Alexander Technique is extraordinary. To really engage with the possibility for improvement, for helping your clients and your students and uh, on that basis or on the foundation of helping yourself, we look at it in a, with a three-part pattern which I've got up here on the, on the whiteboard. Something about the coordination of your whole self in, in action. Every action that you do neurologically, biomechanically, physically, this activity of the whole of yourself together. And Alexander developed a plan. He developed a system for removing interference or for improving the general coordination of, of the whole of the person in, in action. This, uh, and then, System, what we could say, I've got up here coord for coordination. This is from the class earlier today. Uh, something about the relation between your head and your whole body in action. And Alexander tapped into or discovered that there's a system of support and coordination which is underneath all of your other actions. And that system of support coordination generates muscle activity, muscle tone. The muscle tone is that is uh, anti-gravity. In other words, holds you up in relation to gravity, keeps you well supported. And muscle tone, which is about coordination. Coordination being the timing, the sequencing, the organization, uh, the rhythm, if you like, of the way that all the parts of yourself function together in the service of the action that you're doing. So, this first part of the work is all about coordination. It's about how the whole, the whole of you functions together. It's a practical process. We might do a little demonstration in a minute and show you how that works. It's a practical process. We use our hands to assist people to, to coordinate. And we do a lot of coaching, so coaching information to help you to figure out how to think about the organization of your whole self and to help you to think about how to use language and coaching skills to work with your students or your clients in order to do something similar, in order to gain benefit from this knowledge. That foundation is in support of and connected to this concept over here that we call body mapping. Body mapping is essentially conscious cooperation with your design, with human design. You'd be uh, perhaps not surprised to discover or perhaps surprised to discover that the structure of the body is only vaguely or unclearly organized for some people. People have very weird and wonderful ideas about 
how they're made and particularly things like just where are the joints and how do they move uh, in a simple kind of a, a practical way, how can you cooperate with the structure uh, so that you're not in any way interfering with it. So this is body mapping and we do information which is anatomical and biomechanical. The course that we're talking about today, Body Minded, that uh, anatomy and biomechanics is one of the core pieces of information. There's a textbook, there's an extensive series of notes that I've written myself. I have a master's degree, university degree, and have done research in this area. So we're combining Alexander's discovery and process with the process of anatomy and biomechanics and body mapping. And those things, of course, are in service of doing the thing that you want to do, whatever it is that you really care about, the music that you want to produce, the golf shop where you really want the ball to go in the hole, whatever it is that you really care about doing well, and the idea and the way in which you think about that idea, the way in which you go about uh, organizing your idea about what it is that you want. So we help a whole lot with that. Actions, understanding actions is more than just technique, but it certainly comes into the realm of musical technique or sports technique. More than just technique, it's about how clear your mind is and how constructive your idea is about what you wish to do. Because the physiology, what's happening in your musculature, what's happening in your body, is a direct reflection. It's generated by the ideas that are in your mind as you're moving. If you have multiple ideas going at once, you'll get multiple things going on in the, in the coordinating response of the body. And we're particularly interested in thinking about what you want as action, rather than trying to feel what feels right to you. And there's a, there are specific physiological reasons for that. So I'm encouraging you to come and find out in a practical way. We run practical introductory classes and lessons and so on, just so that you can come and actually get a feel for what we're doing and sense what's happening, understand a little bit more about how these strings, three things work together as a whole. So, um, and then ideally what we're interested in is providing with support for 12 months in a structured ongoing learning program that has Alexander technique, it has biomechanics and anatomy in it, it has coaching skills, language communication skills and practice all combined together. So private lessons, intensives and group classes, online materials and study materials that come out to you in the form of uh, textbooks and notes and so on. Um, and that whole package is something that you can then use for yourself and become certified as a body-minded practitioner. Body-minded practitioner, so body-minded guitar teacher, body-minded masseur, body-minded yoga teacher. We actually have all of those things now in our little community of people, people who are working as body-minded practitioners, and so can you, if you wish to join, and gain that certificate, and then there's ongoing support uh, from me and from our other teachers, community of teachers, to really learn this practice. Anyway, we're gonna have a little guest spot from uh, Chloe, who's been uh, doing the Body Minded course, has done the Body Minded course with us. And Chloe's, uh, Chloe's come on into, into view, yes she is, that's right. And we'll do a little, little bit of playing and maybe a little bit of demonstration about how we work. Okay, go ahead, over to you. So I'll just play a little introduction to you, please. Okay. Around the, the reed is coming out of it. 
Thing warmed up. So you were, we can approach this from the perspective of how is Chloe coordinating as a whole. We can approach it from the perspective of how is she organizing in relation to her structure, or using the structure. And we can approach it from the perspective of what does she want, what is she doing, and how is she thinking about what she wants. And then if we ask the question about the little bit nervous, a little bit nervous, of course, is a raising of energy, a raising of excitement in the context of performance, essentially. And thinking about it like that so that we have the possibility of having the sensation of what nervous feels like and using that in service of the performance by thinking clearly about what it is that you're doing given that you understand that the sensations that you're experiencing are both appropriate and maybe even necessary in order to perform really well. And they're great performers all over the world, they all report being nervous before they perform as part of the whole part of the process. So in the organization of the balance of your whole self as you're playing the instrument, there's the relation of your head and your torso, your head and your spine, balancing over your legs like your hip joint supported from the ground, supported from the floor. I think if my head moves, my whole body responds so that I can be well supported from the floor and that whole support is biomechanically organized to be upwardly, uh, upward support. So essentially the way your body responds to the desire or the need for the action is to support you and it supports you by going up in relation to the ground. Being the thing. So we're going to do it just a little bit more and you're thinking yeah, my head and my whole body so that you can be supported through the whole length of your body in order to come up in relation to gravity. So there's been the next thing we'd say about the uh, attending to respiration and breathing for this particular activity for the instrument, the way that everything moves in order to breathe. So letting everything move. So as your head moves and your whole body responds by being supported in relation to gravity, we're working on allowing the movement to occur that needs to occur in order to breathe. We've got a little uh, illustration of that you were playing with us earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I was having fun with this earlier. So just the idea that breathing, that the, as you inhale, that there's a three-dimensional movement of the whole of yourself as the air comes in and then as the air goes out. So there's this whole body action, or whole torso action as you breathe. When you breathe, the whole system expands and contracts as a part of the process of breathing. Okay. So you're thinking, Here's my head, here's my whole body, so everything can be supported to come up so that I can respond to the sensations of performance by thinking clearly about what I want to do. And everything moves as you breathe. So on the inhale, as you bring the air in, because you're already clear that you want to send the air upwards as you produce the sound, you're attending to the coordination of the movement of the whole of yourself as the air comes in. Really go ahead. So, because the, the thing about Alexander Technique is it teaches people how to engage consciously with the things that would happen naturally when the conditions arise. So when somebody's performing beautifully well, typically they're not necessarily all that conscious about how that's happening. Uh, and that's great in a circumstance where things are going really well, but when you want things to improve or there's something not going so well, how do you engage consciously with your activity in a way which supports and, uh, and assists the process of natural coordination rather than getting in the way and interfering? And, and probably you, whoever's watching this, you're watching this, you're probably conscious of the fact that if you try and do a skilled activity too directly, try too hard, you think too much about it, you try and do things that would normally occur naturally, 
deliberately that they don't occur as easily or as well as they would if the conditions were right for them just to, for it just to happen naturally. So Alexander Technique is about creating consciously the conditions of coordination head and whole body so that your consciousness of what you're doing is in support of the natural flow and the natural movements that will occur. And it would occur if there was no interference. So that's fundamentally has anti-gravity support and the timing and the sequencing of joints in it. But it also has the clarity of thinking about you know, what you want, what, what the action is that you're doing. So okay, let's go and look at that. You want to press this up towards the towards the first one. Responding and the coordination of the brain. So the Alexander technique and the body mind process has a physical idea that there's something about the coordination of yourself physically as a reflection of or as a response to the way that you're thinking as you carry out your task. And that's based on this fundamental principles, biomechanical and anatomical principles of the way in which we function well in activity. Uh, and based on Alexander's, Alexander's process. So, of course, Chloe's been working with us for quite some time. She did the body mind training with us last year. <laughs> and the year before, she's so keen that she's actually done it twice. So, she's keen to still be here and still learning and still working. And of course, applying all that information to teaching. The course is really organized to assist people, not just to help themselves, but to help how to teach and how to help others on the foundation of your own understanding, your own process of work. So we'd love you to come and we can give you lots of information. Kathy is over here watching and uh, she can be very happy to send you information. Is reminding me to talk about the scholarship. There are, uh, this year in our Body Mind program, there are four scholarship places, two for uh, professional music teachers, two for uh, tertiary music students, so people who are studying music full time. They are fifty percent scholarships of the fees of the course. So, and the um, I think it's coming up soon. The closing date for tenth of December. So, if you want to apply for a scholarship to come and do this course, or certainly just to find out more about it and think about doing a scholarship, you need to do so before the tenth of December. The closing date for scholarship applications is the tenth of December. We always have uh, a few young students and a few mature teachers, and of course, uh, not just music related, but uh, yoga teachers and massage professionals who have trained in this program as well. Get in contact and uh, ask us more about it, come find out. Yeah, what else is there to say? <laughs>
All right. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, Chloe. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Chloe.